hello friends welcome to my channel civil smart today we are going to design a lintel beam through this extra sheet basically the lintel beam is like uh, where the opening of doors and windows are there and we have to provide the beam that is called the lintel beam to uphold this uh, masonry load above the lintel load this is very important to provide the lintel beam above the doors and opening and window opening so first we find the effective depth by inputting these uh, in these pink cells you have to put your data and this will automatically calculate overall depth will be calculated lintel beam uh, second uh, next step is the effective span effective span will be cal calculated then the load transfer load transfer mechanism like a triangular load will be uh, given to this uh, lintel beam or the rectangular load next is the load calculation what is the load calculation if there is a triangular load or rectangular load according to the uh, condition next the check of depth what we have provided the depth is correct or not we have to increase or not next is the tension bars in the bottom portion and the compression bars in the steel portion will be calculated deflection check will be there and finally the shear reinforcement what are the ties is required on the lintel beam through this interpolation and finally the development length will be calculated okay let's start with this uh, excel sheet what we have given the design a lintel beam over a clear opening of 2.4 the opening clear opening is 2.4 and the wall thickness is t is 230 m and the height of the masonry wall above the lintel beam is h is 3 meter this height this height above the lintel beam is of masonry is 3 meter unit weight of masonry is gamma is 19 kilonewton per meter cube and bearing on the wall is 230 mm use m20 and fe415 let's start height of the masonry wall above the little beam is 3 meter uh, clear opening is 2.4 meter you have to put your data in pink cells only thickness of the wall is 230 mm okay uh, width of the lintel beam should be equal to the thickness of the wall then it is automatically 230 mm fck is m20 and fi is 415 bearing on the wall is 230 mm it's already given and uh, the unit weight of the wall masonry is 90 kilonewton per meter cube now overall depth of the lintel beam d effective is calculated by this l by 10 and what is l l is the clear opening 2.4 divided by 10 is 240 mm is a d effective and if you provide a uh, effective cover let's assume is 35 mm so finally overall depth of the beam overall depth of the beam of lintel beam is 275 mm Effective span is already calculated. Center to center distance uh, as per the IS code, center to center distance 2.63. How it is came? 2.4 is the clear opening and uh, 0.23 is the bearing on the wall. So, half from this side, half from this side, 2.63 is the center to center distance and the clear span plus effective depth that is 2.64. 2.4 is the clear span and uh, this is uh, effective depth is 0.24. 2.64 so whichever is less will be taken as the l effective 2.63 is the l effective and 2.4 is the clear span and the load transfer uh, load transfer mechanism uh, we have to calculate the small h this is the height of the equilateral triangle if this equilateral triangle will be on the uh, lintel beam then this is uh, given by this formula l effective into sine 60 degree equilateral triangle means the 60 degree will be the angle and it gives the 2.28 sin 60 l effective into 2 sin 60 and 1.25 h we have to find the 1.25 h that is 2.85 and height of the wall is 3 meter and now the condition if h is greater than 1.25 h then the equilateral triangle load will be transferred over this uh, lintel beam otherwise the rectangular load will be transferred so now we have uh, in in our case this h is greater than 1.25 h 3 is greater than 2.85 then the equilateral load tri triangle will be transferred to the lintel beam next is the load calculation uh, that is the equilateral triangular load and this load you have to calculate so area of the load is half base into height half l effective into height is h into thickness thickness of the wall into gamma gamma is the density of the masonry so 13.909 kilonewton rectangle if the rectangular load will be transferred then this is h into l effective into thickness into gamma so movement due to the masonry load w into l effective by 6 so you have to take the triangular load in this case 
otherwise if the rectangular load is calculated in this portion then the rectangular load will be given so moment is 5.74 now the self weight of the lintel self weight of the lintel is b into capital d into density of the uh, this so 1.58 m2 moment due to the masonry load m2 is w into l effective square by 8 due to this lintel beam the moment is 1.37 so we have to add up these two moments m1 plus m2 so final moment is factor moment is 10.66 now check for that so we have uh, the 4.415 is the fy so for 415 the mu by fckbd square as the value is coefficient is 0.138 so we have to choose 0.138 now you can see mu is 10.66 10.66 so D required is 130 mm and what we have provided it's 240 mm so D provided is greater than D required hence it is ok now we have to provide the tensile bias PT is calculated is 0.23% and AST required is 129 mm square if you assume the 10 mm dia so you can see two numbers of bars are required and for the compression steel if you assume the 8 mm dia three numbers of bars are required in the compressions deflection check we have already done the deflection check also span by depth ratio uh, is calculated 198 and pt provided is 0.28 so if you go for this 0.28 and 198 then this is 1.7 this is 1.7 you have to put this 1.7 from this table now you can see ld max 34 and ld provided l by d provided is 18.73 hence it is okay now finally the shear reinforcement shear force is calculated by w by 2 in what is w and w is in this case the equilateral triangular load and what is small w is self weight of the lintel so w by 2 into w l effective by 2 8.62 factor shear force is 12.39 shear stage is calculated 0.3 and ast provided is 157 ast provided now pt provided calculated 0.28 now you have to interpolate now you see the VLOOKUP function is also uh, put up there we have M20 concrete so you can see from this table 0.2 lies between 0.25 and 0.50 now you can see these VLOOKUP function is already there so for M20 at 0.25 is 0.36 value and 0.5 it is 0.48 value and the interpolation has been done this is the shear stress 0.377 so shear bars are not required but we have to provide the nominal shear so strip dia if we assume the 6 mm dia and 2 leg stirrup you now you see asv is uh, this much and the spacing as per the spacing is 624 maximum spacing as per the is is 300 mm 0.75d 180 and sv from this formula is 222 and as we calculated is 624 so we have to choose the minimum of these two so 180 is the final so two leg stirrup 6 mm dia and 180 mm center to center is the stirrup shear reinforcement finally the development length for m20 this is 1.2 now you can see the development length is 480 and 310 mm and this is the detailing we have already given detailing you can see in the uh, tension bars 2 into 10 mm you can see that 2 into 10 mm uh, and 3 of 8 mm in the compression side and 2 leg stirrup 6 mm 180 mm center to center and 240 mm is the overall depth and this is 230 is the bearing so friends if you like this video and if you want this excel sheet please contact me on my mail id and email address and my whatsapp number thanks for watching